Let's take a look at this example to uh, play with the new empirical rule calculator that I just made. Uh, it should help uh, make a problem like this a little bit more understandable. So we have some data in this table, the random, a random sample of 50 candies. We want to start by finding the sample standard deviation. Let's open this data in StatCrunch. That's the fastest and easiest way to calculate the standard deviation. So when you have StatCrunch open, I'm going to uh, go under Stat and then Summary Stats, Columns to VAR1, and I'm going to compute the standard deviation. It gives you a bunch of stats, but the one that I'm interested in is the standard deviation. Um, which I'm going to, for a moment, just copy the whole thing over. and uh, But it wants it to two decimal places. So actually, this is going to round. See, two decimal places is actually, I would that's a little stronger than I would do. But it does round up to 0 0.07. So, all right. Um, on the basis of the histogram, comment on the appropriateness of using the empirical rule to make it any general statement about the weight of the candies. Well, it looks kind of like a, uh, the normal, uh, like a bell curve. So yeah, the, it's bell shaped, so we could use the empirical rule. All right, we want to use the empirical rule to determine the percentage of candies with weights between 0.7 and 0.98. All right, I'm going to now turn over to uh, to stat powers, and we're going to take a look at the empirical rule calculator here. Now, what we have is a uh, uh, it, this is under um, under continuous distributions down at the bottom. I've added this empirical rule calculator. What you need to put in is put the mean, which as this says 0.84, and put in the standard deviation, which we just calculated at 0 .0, uh, at 0 .0, 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0
Okay. So anyway, this is this I find makes a problem like this a lot easier. Uh, uh, just to help you visualize the empirical rule and uh, and hopefully understand a little bit more about this normal distribution which which uh, you'll be looking at later on in later problems all right bye